Welcome back to the teaching learning. This is Abdulio Furo. I hope you are doing good. Again, uh, this video is about the mock test solution. Some questions I will be uh, solving with you and uh, there will become, give you some information related to these questions. Okay, I found these questions are important. Uh, so mostly I'm now focusing on the uh, professional practice because uh, you are familiar with this one and the terms that have been used into the professional practice, they are very complicated, okay? So I'll be highlighting the keywords that they can unblock the hidden information and then give you the clear picture about the question. And the second part of this video is about UAE Vision 2030. As you know that these all visions are interconnected and uh, it is a, a sequence of these steps from uh, uh, towards the development of it. so there will be some uh key information and uh, uh keywords over here the achievements of the ue and the percentage so there will be a little bit you know the statistical uh, data and uh, you must know for upcoming tests the links related to the video uh, you will be finding in the description okay if you are new to this channel please don't forget to sub subscribe and uh, like, share. If you think the video is useful, please drop a comment. Uh, let's uh, go for the screen first. Now, the first question, as you can see here, the what is the consequence of students keeping the knowledge they learn in a particular curriculum separate from the knowledge they learn in other curricula or context? So basically, this is talking about the extracurricular. Uh, activities and the information they the students they are getting the extra uh, information or uh, they are being engaged into the extracurricular so this is what exactly they are what are the consequences okay so what are the results of that one so definitely it is increasing in the information okay so why we use the extracurricular uh, that's actually the reinforcements to students uh, related to the learned lessons okay as you remember that uh, STEM projects, okay, they are related with the uh, real life, uh, uh, you know, world applications. And uh, there's a moral education that's connected with the various subjects and integrated, okay. And uh, there are some mathematics, you know, or some activities. There are the English literacy activities. Actually, they are interrelated and integrated with the uh, mainstream. And uh, the purpose of this uh, these extracurricular to enhance the, <clears throat> sorry, the subject knowledge or knowledge about the existing curriculum. So increased retention of the information. Again, uh, the in, what is the international assessment that measures students' skills at the age of 15 year old in which UA participated in 2009, 12, 2015 and 19? It's TIMS. However, uh, I have a one, you know that the uh, point over here must highlight so UA participated in 2011 not in 2012 and the ranking of the UAE was uh, first in Arab world country so it's 2009 2011 2015 and 2019 so the documents are available online you can cross check uh, let's talk about <clears throat> Another question, uh, during a lesson, a teacher asks questions below, what type of a questions are? Uh, what would need to change in order for you to accomplish this? And how did you come to this uh, conclusion? What are your expectations? And what should you ask yourselves to further your understanding? So actually, it's not evaluation. It's not investigation. It's not clarifying. It's a predictive. Okay, as you know that the prior knowledge is the most important for the student. So this is what exactly to uh, anticipate the information and uh, check the prior knowledge about the student. So there's a, a special, uh, you know, the separate lesson on prior knowledge. You can go for this. And uh, 51, according to, uh, to the teacher standards in the UAE, uh, teacher standards has been, you know, the link has been given to the uh, previous video, but if you want uh, the PDF format, you can contact me. My WhatsApp number is given into the 
uh, channel description or you'll be finding WhatsApp into the community chat. So which of the following practice teacher are must take into the consideration promote positive learning environment? Now, first shows about the assessment. We are talking about not assessment and evaluation. Set a low expectations. We set always high expectations from the student. Avoid use of any punishment. This is not about the punishment. So these points, you know, this statement has been taken <clears throat> as it is from teachers, uh, UA teachers standards. Uh, establish classroom procedure routines that enhance teaching and learning process and efficiency. So you can go and check it. I have already verified. Okay. Number one. Now, number 54, lesson. Which of the following strategy will most enhance a student's attention during the lesson and develop their individual responsibility? So the key point is individual responsibility. That means that's not a cooperative work strategy. It's not a gallery walk strategy, okay, because there's a no attention, okay, there. And number head strategies, it's not about the number head. It's an exit card when you, every has to take the responsibility and uh, summarize the information, whatever they have learned during the lesson, okay. So this is the exit card. So let's go for the uh, UA vision. I have uh, selected some information that will help you. And if you want this document, so feel free. Uh, you have my WhatsApp number, you can email me, I can share this document and the disc uh, you'll be finding the a link into the description as well as so this information i found most important uh, there are about 1.03 million students enrolled in both public and private schools as academic year 2016 and 17. the total number of students in schools and university in the ua projected to grow 4.1 percent by 20. now you can see it's uh, connected with the ua vision 2021 and now we are moving towards the vision 2030. And there's also vision 2031, uh, some important points about that. But in other, some other uh, lesson I'll be sharing. Well, uh, Ministry of Education launched a strategic plan for 2017-20. And uh, it is for all age groups. And that's for uh, innovative education system, just like the STEM projects were introduced. And... Uh, New plan is based on the following. One is the citizenship and responsibility, the principle and values of Islam, commitment and transparency, equality and justice, participation and accountability, science and technology, and innovation. So this is the plan. And a benchmark for the performance level of education system. So these things so you can uh, you know very well the UA has participated in many international tests. So you should know about the uh, Tim's ranking, PISA's ranking, and Pearl's ranking. Uh, this is very important again, and uh, at least in every test or every alternative test, there's a one question from that. The UA received top ranks in the Arab world in line with the national agenda, which calls for the country to ranking among the top 20 in PISA by 2021. In uh, 2017, uh, uh, Ministry of Education uh, introduced the national level Emirates standards, uh, test measured people's knowledge, Arabic, English, math, science, now there's three sets you're going to type up the test. One is the baseline test to measure school knowledge. This is the most important for grade one. Advantage test for the grade four, six, eight, and 10. And uh, achieve test, this is for the grade and 12, okay. And uh, M set replacing is a SIPA, uh, which is common educational proficiency assessment. You should go for that. And uh, grade 12 uh, students were required to take a, a prerequisite and uh, entering public university or colleges. So this test is for them. Uh, reforming the teaching system. As you know that uh, there's a teaching license and you are very familiar about that, uh, how it has been categorized in different cycles, okay. So the early education system, child uh, development, then we have uh, the cycle uh, two and three. And uh, then uh, we have a specialization for each and separate. So 
uh, leadership has special needs. So every, uh, you know, uh, department or, you know, the, the person who is in uh, school uh, has to take uh, uh, this or pass the test. Uh, uh, either it belongs to the uh, teaching or non-teaching staff. Uh, the professional licensing scheme for teachers okay so these are the links of the green okay you can i'll be sharing with you you can go for that and the system will standardize qualification in emirates expertise teacher and private and public school the system co-developed uh, the national qualification authority you should know what is it average years of schooling according 2012 uh, status the average year of schooling in the year reached eight to nine years, growing uh, by uh, 5.3 a uh, year since 1980. This information is the most important key achievement. So, I'm not going to read these key achievements, and uh, this information is already in the website. Okay, the purpose of uh, uh, sharing this information because uh, the examiner they are taking questions from there. So you should know all the statistical information, at least the percentage of achievement from the uh, UA Vision 2021 uh, and uh, the uh, ranking of in international assessments, the uh, types of the international test, okay, test for the teachers, yeah, UA teachers' standards, what they say about, you know, the positive and learning environment and uh, what responsibility they have to follow and uh, the other thing about you know in the health and safety environment you should go for that so uh, I, i'm going to share the link in the description okay. so i hope uh, uh this lesson will be very useful and informative for you and we'll be meeting in the next lesson till that step less and take care